Hello, hello everyone, how's it going? It's me, Jaylene, also known as Femme Four. I wanted to pull up this topic that one supporter mentioned to me, but first, subscribe so you can join the Sexy Sex Ed community. Amazing. Today we're going to wander through the topic of wedgie fetish. I will cover three main things. Number one, what is a wedgie fetish? Number two, why do people enjoy it? And number three, three key tips for wedgie play fun. Number one, what is it? The wonderful wedgie fetish is a niche in the BDSM world where one person is turned on by watching someone receive a wedgie, pulling up those panties on others or their own selves, or receiving a wedgie from someone else. But what about a wedgie turns them on? On to number two. Why do people like it? There are two factors in relation to BDSM of why there are fanatics about this fetish. Pain and humiliation, baby. A lot of wedgie fetishes are actually played out within a larger theme of a BDSM scene, mainstay, bullying, or a school scene. I.e., let's bring back those good old high school days where these were potentially painful and humiliating moments. So, when it comes to a wedgie fetish, it can be a very consensual outlet for you to dive into and recreate the experience that has been imprinted on you in younger years. Either through watching, through mainstay media, or in person, giving them out, or receiving one. But not everyone in this world who enjoys a good atomic wedgie is not all about psychological. Sometimes it can be the sensation of a wedgie that truly doesn't arrive at a point of pain itself. If I were to describe it, it would more so be like a tightening sensation in the pelvic area. Or sometimes it can just be the look of those scrunched up panties or the atomic wedgie that people fetishize over. After all, our underwear is really seen as a more vulnerable piece of clothing. Showing it and playing with it can add to the sexy appeal. Some people will even go further with a specific type of underwear that they enjoy watching being wedgified. All right, number three, three key wedgie tips. Use panties that are more stretchy. The force of wedgies can be on a huge scale, from a light little lift to an atomic wedgie, which means going over the head. Having a pair of undies that is stretchy will not only help with the level of strength of wedgie you want to achieve, but also it will provide a sensation of that tightness that I was describing earlier, getting more and more intense as you go. Rather than the fabric being inflexible, like silk panties per se, with not much room to play with. Number two, ask, why a wedgie? If you're acting out a wedgie fetish with your partner, be sure to either let them know or ask your person who has a wedgie fetish what about wedgie fetishes turn them on the most. For example, if it's more about the pain aspect for them, you know to go more with force in the playtime. Or if the main attraction is humiliation, you or your partner know how to play up a little bit more teasing or jovial bullying in the play scene. Number three. Surprise! Wedgies are all the more a whirlwind when the receiver is not expecting it. In a private space, unless your partner has consented to a public panty pulling, say that five times fast, sneak up on them when they're not holding any sharp things or doing any activity that would hurt them if not handled properly, and watch their reaction with glee. Do you have a wedgie finish and you don't know how to break open the topic to your partners or you have some shame surrounding it? I am more than happy to guide you to finding some confidence within your kinks through a one-on-one -on -one coaching call. My website link is below. And be sure to pull up that like and subscribe button to join the Sexy Sex Ed. Thanks for watching everyone. It is me, Femme Forth.